when we re-establish the voltages, let's assume 300 plus 300 volts at the anode, and the cathode is at zero, and the, the grid needs to be below the cathode's level. In this case, as the cathode is at zero, the voltage here needs to be negative. Let's assume we applied a minus 70 volt to the grid. Under these conditions, as we explained for the diode, uh, an electron flow will start here. If we keep these three voltages constant, 0, minus 70, and plus 300, the flow of through this, uh, I mean, between cathode and the anode will be constant. We call this flow the bias flow of the tube, similar to the bias flow here. The definition of the bias flow is as follows. Is a, it is a predetermined flow that flows even when there is absolutely no signal applied to the grid. So it's in a way an idle status current. Now let's apply our famous sine wave to the grid and see what happens. When the wave is turning upwards, which means the grid's voltage level is increasing, and remember the electrons are negatively charged, therefore when this is becoming more positive, it will favor the flow of the electrons toward the anode. And to the contrary, when they, it turns down to the negative portion, which means the voltage of the, uh, the grid will approach the voltage of the cathode, so it will slow down the flow of the electrodes, electrons flowing to the, to the anode. So you can see that the grid is acting like a valve controlling the electron flow. So when, when we, if we place a resistor to the line feeding the plate, the cycling current here due to the cycling uh, input voltage to the grid can be translated as a cycling uh, cycling voltage here across the the resistor so the the, the ratio between the input input uh, sine wave and the output sine wave is called the gain of this vacuum tube, the triode tube. So let's see again the analogies between the water music system and our triode valve, triode vacuum tube. So the, the height of the water is the voltage applied to the, to the plate. The cathode is the level of the collecting reservoir. The grid is the valve here, and the bias water flow is the bias electric current. At this point, I would like to explain the importance of the bias current or bias flow. Now let's move again to our water system, and let's now take our flap or, or wing and place it here without any spring and which means there's no water there's no bias zero bias which means there's no water flow when there's no signal applied applied to the to the ball so there's no absolutely no water flowing through it and then it stays at the middle position waiting for something to happen now we feed the signal, which means we open this valve proportionately to the signal and the water starts flowing, which is pushing the, the wing down 
and this is very understandable and there's no problem at all so far so good but if we try now to reverse the, 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 the movement of this flap we will have to reverse the flow and that's where the problems start and think about all the turbulences within this tube to make the water pumped upwards to make the flap move up. This particular system, drawn as it is, wouldn't work in such a situation. Probably we will need we would need to put another pump to pump the water up, etc. But uh, it's very very problematic. So let's forget about it and always think about the bias flow. The same scenario applies to the valve. It's exactly the same scenario and it would be very difficult to reverse the flow here and impossible in fact. Now let's also see very very quickly what a class A operation means. By applying a bias current we push the axis of the the zero axis up so that the music signal stays in the positive zone in every situation so now assume we are increasing the volume which means we increase the amplitude of the signal without changing the frequency or well, you can see, although the size is increased, we are always at the positive zone. The limit for it is the, is the power of the amplifier, because beyond it, beyond the power of the amplifier, the signal will be clipped and distorted, which is a very audible distortion. So, if within the limits, the power of the amplifier, the maximum power of the amplifier, all this signal, entire signal, stays above the zero axis. This means that the, uh, the amplifier is a pure class A1. So, now, the higher the power, the, the, the bigger this, this amplitude will be. And in order not to go below the zero level, we'll need to increase this axis, which means the bias flow, the bias current of the amplifier, which means that the amplifier will run very hot, very warm, and whether it is a solid state amplifier or a tube amplifier. So this is uh, a class A operation and it is probably the best operation for any amplifier. I hope everything is clear to you now but if it is not, if you have any suggestions, comments or questions just send me an email to the address below. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.